Hey, I'm Matt Lucas with The Open Mat. Today I'm going to show you a couple variations of yoga poses that we can actually bring into the martial arts world and show how there is a definite relationship between yoga and martial arts. Some people say that uh, one of the stories of how Kung Fu came around was a guy from India came and walked to China and uh, sat in a cave for nine years and did these poses to keep you strong while meditating for a long time. So. A lot of this work, really, if I'm in a pose, is to find my structure, it's to find my balance, it's to find my breathing. And when we're doing it in martial practice, or we're doing it in a partner practice, or the more dynamic world, really, instead of holding a pose for a long time, I'm going from one pose to another pose. For example, even if I'm throwing a punch and I'm just from just a regular boxing stance, uh, I'm going from this pose, and I'm right out to this pose, and I'm right back in. So these things are... I'm oversimplifying it. Yes, there's there's a lot more inside this, but right now we're just gonna we're just gonna get down to the bare bones of it and um, talk about the structure, the breathing, and the dynamic flow between a lot of these poses. Therefore, we can go from doing our yoga on the mat to actually moving around the room or doing it with a partner. I think it's very important to first understand that martial arts is self-defense. Yoga is self-defense. One of them is taking care of your body, knowing that if we are healthy and strong. Uh, we're less susceptible to disease and pain uh, and uh, joint deficiencies. The other thing about, uh, that, and that is a first line of self-defense, if you're not healthy then you're hurting yourself. I don't care how hard you can punch, if you blow your knees out, if you blow your shoulders out, if you're not eating right, if you're not aware of your emotional state and your internal state, your body state, uh, you're harming yourself. So don't worry about the guy with the knife, worry about yourself. Uh, that's one of the first things. So one of the other things that I like to talk about is in yoga we say opening the joints, but I like to always say expand, and that's why yoga and martial arts run to, so well together. Because when I, imagine if you have a house and you want to open it, you open the doors and anything can come in. And it happens like that, boom. But if I want to expand that house, I have to build the foundation, I have to build the walls, I have to build the actual ground it's on, I have to increase my foundation. Just like in my body, if I want to expand my body, I need to increase my strength, my flexibility, my breathing, my awareness. Everything has to grow together. So this is a very good um, uh, metaphor, I guess, for understanding why we want to bring our, our stillness and our slow yoga practices into some of the more dynamic range of martial practice. And then we bring it from the big moves into smaller moves. Um, it's all the same. They just condition and balance each other out. Isn't this all about balance anyway?